Calgary-based lawn bowler Dwayne Hauk found a way to keep Calgary's lawn bowling community engaged through the Lego Lawn Bowling League, a Facebook group he created with his son Sebastian, where they use Lego to create fun photos and short videos of Lego characters in lawn bowling action. It's been fun. Not yeah. as much fun as playing sports, but fun. <laughs> Back in April 2020, Dwayne and his family were in New Zealand when they received the order to return to Canada due to the announcement of COVID-19. At the same time, he was preparing to officiate for the Canadian Lawn Bowling Championships in Edmonton. But that all changed when the pandemic shut everything down. We had been in New Zealand riding our bikes and bowling and we got ordered back, came back and we're, we're all closed down, right? We can't do anything. The shutdown made a significant impact on Dwayne, as he's an active member of the Stanley Park Lawn Bowling Club in Southwest Calgary, as well as head umpire and a director on the board for Bulls Alberta, the provincial sport organization for lawn bowling. We have nationals coming in Edmonton, and we needed more officials, and I was like, oh, I can't even really go do a video to show them what to expect. Despite everything being closed, a clever idea had opened up in Dwayne's mind. I don't know if I tripped on a piece of Lego or whatever it was, but it's like, ah, oh, and I can do something with these guys. It just kind of grew on itself, I think. Where did all the Lego come from? From Lego sets that all belonged to Sebastian as a kid. Despite Sebastian being all grown up, Dwayne never got rid of them. Nobody throws away Lego, so it, in a bin and dig out all the old Lego sets. <laughs> With the help of colored printers, old lamps, an air hockey table, a camera, and lots of time, Dwayne and Sebastian brought their Lego world of lawn bowling to life and was welcomed by a warm reception on social media. I think most people it was like help, you know, thanks for helping us get through this COVID uh, time. And I think people really appreciate and get a, a laugh out of the situations that boulders find themselves in. <laughs> So yeah, it's been really, really positive. Members of the local community also got involved in the project by donating various pins from past lawn bowling events to be used as trophies by the LEGO characters. Most are donated by um, different club members. Kind of nice to be able to put them back out in the community again and let people see them. Dwayne's favorite scene to recreate was the shot made by English professional bowler Nick Brett at the World Indoor Bowls Championships back in January 2020. People in the world that have seen the BBC coverage of it. So it was it was really fun. And kind of knowing the characters, we changed it a little bit. The video caught attention of many people around the world, including Nick Brett's wife. We got to connect with the, the Brett family and the character and his partner, Greg, from that championship, uh, we packaged up and s sent to Britain, and it's sitting with his big, huge blue uh, trophy in, in Britain. <laughs> it's a s small community, and uh, you know, thanks to social media, it's really small. The success of the LEGO Lawn Bowling League has inspired Dwayne to potentially continue on with the LEGO Lawn Bowling League setups at future in-person events. People really enjoy it, and it, it's such a, a great way of showing some of the weird things that go on in, in lawn bowls. So Lego makes it fun and yeah, makes it smile. So yeah, it, it'll never quite disappear, but it may get scaled back a little. <laughs>